everybody, it's me, Miss You, and we're going to be looking at the follower guide right now. We're going to be drawing it out. You should go to your front view, go to sketch, go to line draw. We're going to we're going to draw, we're going to sketch out the profile, and then we're going to revolve it. So this is kind of, it's like almost like a Christmas tree. Cut right down the middle. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. I'm now going to put down some perpendicular constraints just to make sure everything is constrained properly. There we go. Did you see that straighten out? There we go. And those are all our perpendicular constraints. Next, we're going to go to dimensioning, and the top and bottom are a quarter. Your drawing, it says a half, but it's actually half of half, which is a quarter. Right. Now we're going to do the height, 1.18. 75. Now we are going to do the width. And the width is 0.875. And now we're going to do the height of the little stem which is 0.1875. And we are done, fully constrained. Next, we're gonna revolve it. So we're gonna to go to revolve. We're gonna select the space to revolve. Next. Select the axes in which to evolve, revolve, and we are done. The last part is we have a hole. We're going to go to the isometric view. We're going to select the top. Let's go top view, actually, so we could see the origin. Nice. And we're going to sketch on it. We're going to go to center point, center point. And that looks good. I'm going to constrain it so the sides are equal. So we only have to add dimensions to one piece. Great, it's a square. And it tells us to do 0.215. And that is a little bigger so we don't get stuck. And we're going to go 0.215. Great. Our sketch is done. We now get to extrude the square hole. I'm going to remove. I'm going to go through, through all, and there we go. Our part is done. Let me look at it isometrically. Let's look at the bottom to make sure it went through, and it did. Back to isometric view, and we are done.